I just built a real life working snow golem. Yo, chill, yo. And his name is Oleg. Oleg is decked out with full metal tank treads powered by four different motors. And this lets him easily maneuver over any terrain. Well, over most terrain. It's controlled using this remote control that has a mounted screen. And this screen lets you see the snowman's point of view because it's connected to a camera on the snow golem's face. So basically, I can see what it sees. Speaking of its face, if you take the pumpkin off, it reveals Oleg's true, interesting face. Well, what does that say? Drop a like? Dude, that's crazy. That's the smartest thing you've said all day, Oleg. And after just a couple months of designing it, 3D printing out each individual part, buying and assembling more 3D printers, connecting all the blocks together, welding without a welder but with a soldering iron, sanding the entire thing, painting it, being an absolute genius, and lastly, the electros, that's short for electronics, I finished making the world's first real-life Minecraft snow golem. So, why is this name Oleg? I have no friggin' clue. In my last video, my brother Joe raced against my real-life Minecraft pig. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so obviously that first race was just a warm-up, because I mean, Oleg didn't even stretch beforehand. But now, he's ready for the real race. Three, two, one, go! Oh no! I tripped! Wow, so that's pretty crazy. This thing can actually go faster than a human. Whoa, 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 don't. That's crazy, man. It's so fast. But he doesn't just have superhuman speed. He's also amazing at sports. Oh! Look at Oleg. Bro, what Oleg, are you no doing? Shit. Now, at this point, you probably notice that there's a little something missing from Oleg. Balls! Because, I mean, who's ever heard of a real life, fully working Minecraft snow golem that couldn't shoot snowballs? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. But how can I make it launch snowballs just like they do in Minecraft? Well, to figure this out, I put my silky smooth brain to work and thought up a solution. And when I say thought up a solution, I mean I watched a YouTube video on exactly how to make a snowball launch. Using this fan that I took out of a leaf blower and connecting it to this pipe, I should be able to launch snowballs. But, uh, well, this project's kind of taken me so long that it's not exactly winter anymore, so instead of snowballs, I'll be using these styrofoam balls, and it should be able to launch them pretty far. Obviously, I was gonna need something a little bit more powerful. So, I made this. The way it works is when these two suckers spin up and the ball is fed to them, it gets squished between them and launches out. I did a bunch of experimenting and redesigning of this thing because, well, I want it to be as painful as possible when people get shot by it. Then I put the launcher into the snow golem's head and made it so that even when you take the pumpkin off, it can still shoot snowballs. Now that those are installed, I need a way of actually feeding this thing some balls. I could store them in the top of the head and just have them drop down into the launcher, but that's boring. So instead, I'm gonna use the bottom two blocks to store a ton of balls and have them lifted up to the launcher using a special ball lifting device. Genius? I know. So then, using the knowledge I gained from one eighth of a mechanical engineering major, because, well, I dropped out after one semester, and spending millions of hours designing it, I created the world's greatest ball lifting device. So as the balls are forced down into this hole, they make contact with the spiral. When the spiral spins, uh, when the spiral spins, so yeah, it didn't work. Remember guys, only one eighth of an engineer. So after trying to create that first lifting device, I decided to use the only real skill I learned from college. Plagiarism. I mean, I mean, thinking outside the box. A few months ago, me and some friends bought these Orbeez blasters. And these shoot super quickly, so whatever mechanics they have in the magazine are exactly what I'm looking for. The ball lifter in this just uses a star-shaped wheel to push the balls up this tube one at a time. So I just need to create that, but bigger. Should be simple enough, right? Got the balls in here, then the paddle wheel spins, balls roll in, and it, it, uh, it. <laughs> it was at this moment when I came up with my best idea yet. Fidget spinners. Well, using the things from fidget spinners on the wheel to make it spin better. And this idea actually worked. Well, until this happened. Uh, I don't think that's a good sign. But after getting a better motor and a ton more redesigns later, I actually finished it. And with this one, I made it so that you can reverse the wheel, which should make it unjam itself. So the way this whole thing works is this piece goes into this other piece I made, and this will sit at the bottom of the snow golem. So this whole thing works as a funnel and forces all the balls to go into the wheel. The wheel will then lift each ball up this pipe till they reach the top where they'll be shot out at a billion miles an hour. Then I connected the wheel and launcher to the controller and carefully put all the electronics in with just amazing organization as always. I put the funnel in, ball lift into the base and decided it was about time I did another test. Well, once again, I hate my life. Then I realized what my exact problem was. 
I forgot my number one rule. Never be creative, steal everything. So instead of using my own funnel design like a nerd, I found out how the feed system for a tennis ball launcher worked, stole that design, and remade it to fit into the snow golem. Cause like, I'm not a nerd guys. I'm not a nerd, right guys? So this one works by having the balls fall into one of the four holes in the wheel. And as the wheels spin, the balls drop down into this paddle wheel thing. So the wheel basically takes the place of the funnel in the last design. Well, it's all installed and set up, so I'd say it's about time I torture myself with another test. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's. Oh, uh. Balls were getting stuck, I was dying inside, but after about three more redesigns, a few 3D printing fails, a whole lot of super sophisticated coding, it actually kind <gasps> of almost worked well. Let's go. But this time, whenever it would jam, I could just reverse it, and it would unjam itself instantly. It's testing time! <laughs> Oleg is now finally finished and officially a true Minecraft snow golem. Using the right stick, I can control the movement. And using the left stick, I control the launcher. And using this knob here, I can control the rate of fire. So I can make it shoot, you know, one every now and then, you know. It's kind of boring, actually. Or make it go super speedy rapid fire mode and completely destroy whatever it's shooting at. That is, until it jams, of course. As you can tell, Oleg is now quite the beast. So I feel like the only obvious thing to do is just give him his own AI and send him out into the real world. But to make sure your boy's actually ready for the real world, we gotta put him through some tests first. All right, Oleg. You see that nerd down there on the one wheel? We're gonna take that guy out. Let's get him. Come on, don't jam. We totally just killed that kid! Wow, so Oleg obviously has some skills. But contrary to what most people think, skills aren't the most important skill. Wait, it really all comes down to the equipment, and in this case, the launcher. Let's see how powerful this thing really is. Distance test! That was crazy. Speed test! Three, two, one! No way! Oh my, look at that. Wow! We did the distance test and we did the speed test. Now it's time for an accuracy test. Why are you guys looking at me like that? We already know that Oleg here can outrun a human, but can he outshoot a human? So to test it, we're gonna do an old fashioned duel. Whoever gets shot first, loses. One, two, three. Wait, Thomas, I don't think you put the ammo in this thing. <laughs> As expected, Oleg easily beats the human. So now for the final test, the stealth test. So originally for this test, I wanted to have Oleg shoot at completely random people in a park, but I realized that that might be kind of messed up and possibly illegal. So instead, I'll just shoot my friends with it. My first victim, obviously, is Joe. I hit Oleg and told Joe to come up the stairs to help me film a video. And of course, like the Minecraft YouTuber he is, he's not gonna suspect a thing. Oh, almost! Yep, uh, it jammed immediately. But, remember how I added that unjam feature? Yeah, apparently neither did I. So it was pretty clear that getting it to actually surprise and then shoot people was gonna be a little bit trickier than I expected. Because either it'd jam up, or they'd see it immediately. But, I still think Oleg can do this thing. So, I filled Oleg with like 50 ammo and then invited some nerds to come over to my house. But, I told them to come down through the basement way, which would mean they have to walk past the garage. And, little would they know, waiting for them would be a fully working real life Minecraft snow golem. Named Oleg. So I was hiding further in the garage so that nobody could see me. And using the mounted screen, I could see when people were in front of Oleg, and that's how I knew when to shoot him. So 
So this next dude didn't even know I was building this project in the first place. So I thought it'd be funny if we all went inside and just let Oleg sit in the garage. And then once he gets confused and walks up to it, that's when we light him up. Awesome! I love it! I was like, dang, we got a dirt bike? <laughs> Did you notice this? No! I didn't see it! So for these last girls, the screen actually died, so I had no idea how close they were to the snow golem. So I just had to wait until it sounded like they were close. So, yeah. It jammed again, and um, I guess at that point they kind of saw it, but this time I actually remembered the old reverse unjam thingy I added, and it totally worked. I mean, it only shot a couple of times and completely missed him of course, but overall I'd say Oleg totally acted stealthily and definitely passed the test. <laughs> and if you're wondering why it only shot like three times, surprisingly it's not because it jammed. It's because, well, we kind of used up all the ammo right before they showed up. Now that Oleg has passed all the tests with flying colors, I carefully recoded him so that he has his own AI and we can finally send him out into the real world. Alright Oleg, bye! Hope you find your grandma or something. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a great video. Make sure to drop. Make sure to drop a comment below if you enjoyed, and click right here if you want to see my last video. Also, make sure to smash that sub button below. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace out.